Hi, I'm Jason Blackett. In this Chalk Talk, we're going to look at how Zenworks uniquely allows you to manage the software that you distribute to your machines and its entire life cycle. So with most of the competitive products today, essentially the competitor cares about getting software from point A to point B. They may have something that allows the user to launch an icon that will get the software down, or they may allow that to be something you can push. Now Zenworks does that very well, but it goes to the next level. So if you have a Windows desktop, your users are very used to looking for applications in very specific places. For instance, the Start menu. With Zenworks, we have the capability to actually put folders and shortcuts on the Start menu so that the user can find those wherever they expect them to be. We can also put those out on the desktop. We can put them down in the system tray next to the clock, and we can also put them in what's called the quick launch bar, depending on the operating system you're on. Additionally, we have something called the Now window. The Now window is basically a standalone window where if I wanted to, as a company, have a window that maybe acted as the window shell so that I could have a very locked down environment, I could use that, replace all of the things that Windows users are typically using with just this window that has the icons that they want to launch. Now, again, a lot of this, things for instance like this window, are available from competitors. However, when you launch the application, usually all you care about is double-clicking that app to get it installed. After that, you use traditional Windows shortcuts. With Zenworks Configuration Management, we run the whole life cycle of that application. So we have five distinct states called Install, Launch, Uninstall, Verify, and then Termination. And Termination ties to availability, which we'll talk about just a little bit. But the Install Action Set is basically a set of operations we have a pretty comprehensive list of things customers have told us they want to do in our action set. But an install action set basically says, when I launch application one, install a set of stuff. So for instance, if you're doing like a Photoshop, this would be install the Photoshop MSI to the machine. That's usually where our competitors stop. Launch actually allows you to keep the icons out there on the user's desktop, but when they double click the icon the next time, instead of actually performing the install actions, it performs a completely different set. So this might launch the Photoshop executable. It may do some sort of cleanup on the file system. That way, if somebody's changed some parameters, they get changed back. So a lot more control there. We have an uninstall action set so that you can customize if you either say, don't let the user have the application anymore, or if the user says, I don't want the application anymore, then you can customize how the uninstall happens. The last two we have, Verify, lets you self-heal the application. So if something breaks, Microsoft has the capability to self-heal MSI applications, because that's built into the platform. But you may be doing additional customization above and beyond that you need to back off for those uninstalls. So you can do that through scripts and other actions. Terminate, as I said, ties to the availability schedule. All of the icons on your desktop are actually dynamic. So I can schedule them and give them a temporal life. I could say app one here is only available from eight to five. That way at five o'clock if someone's in it, I can run another set of actions that says you've got to get out of here. Maybe prompt the user to save their data and then kick them out. I have additional schedule options where I can actually configure when software gets distributed to the machine and then when it launches. So you have ultimate control over the user's application experience.